The hydroplate theory is just a recipe for how you erode all the sediments of, on the earth. It's obvious. They came from the subterranean chamber, and when the water was coming up, the rupture 10 miles high with cliffs on each side eroding away. So the erosion didn't come from the surface of the earth. You can't do it. You can't erode that much from the surface. So John Baumgartner proposed this. He did this this summer in Pittsburgh at the 7th International Conference on Creationism, one of the greatest events I ever have gone to in my life. I was there at John's presentation. I read his paper. So he acknowledged using the software. Now, he is one of the world's better-known geophysicist. He is a scientist who's worked at one of our national labs, Los Alamos, for many years. He created a software program called Terra for being able to study the interior of the Earth, even though we can't get down there. And that's used by geologists around the world. He's brilliant, and he's a Christian who loves the Lord. So using his software, he said, you know, catastrophic plate tectonics can't erode all that sediment, and it can't carry it and deposit it. So it has to be something else. So he checked to see what if there were meteorite impacts. Could that do it? And he said, when you look at the Earth, and it can't do it. We can't call on meteorite impacts. How about earthquakes creating tsunamis? He said, no, nope, that doesn't do it. What if the poles flipped? What if that happened? Doesn't do it. We can't get that water turbulent enough to erode a mile deep of sediments and then transport them. We can't do it. So he wrote this paper, and he said, here's how we can do it. It is proposed that six near encounters with a moon-sized body, this moon-like body in outer space, the Earth's gravity caught it, it went around the Earth six times, and then it flew away. And that's where you can get the energy to erode all the rock and then transport it. And I think on its face, that is utterly unreasonable. With all the other miracles, now we have this moon thing. So he says the tide that would be caused would be 2,500 meters high. That's a mile and a half high tide. That's pretty serious. Presumably an interaction with some other body caused it subsequently to break free of the Earth. Plate tectonics model is in meltdown. It is not a valid biblical model for how the global flood happened. It's not a valid scientific model. It's somebody, like the vapor canopy theory, we took a secular idea, try to fit it in the Bible, and it caused decades of lost opportunity by Christians who really couldn't answer the hard questions of people asking. So we have, uh, for today, for you guys, uh, we created a, an animation of this process of the earth capturing this moon. And... Um, our point in showing this is to drive it home the rescue device needed to support answers in Genesis catastrophic plate tectonics. This is what's needed based on their lead author. Now, John Baumgartner doesn't work for AIG, but AIG promotes catastrophic plate tectonics. All the big groups do. So this is... So we want to drive home the seriousness of their inability even just to erode the rocks during the flood. Catastrophic plate tectonics, erosion, and deposition problems are this serious. Just to erode flood sediments, an extraterrestrial intervention. Different cycles create close encounters between the object and the moon, as we'll see. Here comes the first near miss. The bigger point, though, is the admission that catastrophic plate tectonics cannot erode the world's flood sediments. Second near miss, the creation movement 
AIG, ICR, CRS, CMI didn't realize what it was getting into. We can see the wisdom of Henry Morris in the Genesis record, warning creationists, do not resort to miracles of convenience, nor extraterrestrial events, because the Bible attributes the flood to the breaking forth of the fountains of the great deep. These six orbits illustrate how far people will go to defend an idea that is evidently false. By forcing evolutionary geology into Genesis, creationists have created many problems and have whitewashed the errors of plate tectonics.